looking at demand side management as we should. We're actually ignoring the inherent wastefulness of our production. We're not focusing either on consumption nor value chain approach. And so demand side measures are really part of the essential question that we need to ask ourselves when we start to look at manufacturing, when we start to look at the way in which we engage with our natural resources at a European level. And this should be core to the European Green Deal. Next slide, please. Because if you look at the current neo-colonial model, the rich world is fueled by raw materials. And look at high-income countries, basically their dependency on raw material trade balance, most of their raw materials are coming from outside. That is a fact. Next slide, please. So how do you actually translate some of the system change thinking that I'm now embodying through my relationship with the Club of Rome and all of the experts that I work with and our members into some systemic orientations with regard to policy making and also our conversations with businesses? If you click one more time. What we try to do with Janusz Potocznik and others, some of you may know Systemic, which are a consultancy actually based in London. We work together to create 10 key principles. Next slide, please. And the application of the system to derive kind of systemic orientations of thinking through how we can really embed some new thinking in policy making that takes into consideration demand side. Next slide, please. So we have 30 system level orientations, which is our overarching system. Next slide three to five ecosystem level orientations. Next slide, 50 champion orientations. Those 50 champions are new business models and thinking and there are interrelationships, how we can optimize between different businesses and industries and really create a systems approach in order to reduce our impact and fit within the planetary boundaries. Next slide. The International System Change Compass was developed by myself and Janusz Potocznik and a team at Systemic and the Club of Rome, where those 10 principles were based on mapping and envisioning the system, designing and implementing interventions, and mobilizing and enabling actors. And you can see that we have brought in the original limits to growth thinking, but also the planetary boundaries into 10 key principles. And under each of them, we have been working with the European Commission in terms of what does that mean in terms of policy. Policy coming out of DG Grow, the Directorate General that deals with industry, policy coming out of research and innovation, et cetera. So we've looked at redefining natural resource use, reducing material footprints in high consuming countries. We've looked at redefining progress. What does progress mean? This was part of what I discussed yesterday, looking at well-being looking at redefining metrics. What types of metrics do we actually know? Two and a half years I spent sitting on the expert group on the taxonomy, which was going to actually address how can we tell investors what is a green project? What type of science do we need? What type of new research and innovation feedback loops do we need to better understand so we can give the signals to investors what actually green is and what is brown? redefining competitiveness and really thinking through what does competitiveness mean? Do we need to totally shift, and I believe we do, away from a GDP productivity level competitiveness system into really addressing what is a thriving economy? And Nick and I spoke about this yesterday. I mean, in Europe, 98% of our economy is based on small and medium-sized enterprises. And we don't focus on small and medium-sized enterprises. We focus on the 2% and we mostly focus on shareholder value along large-scale multinationals. 